Welcome to the Tormented Vet YouTube channel. My name is Dustin. I got a banger for y'all today. All right, so I had somebody up hit had somebody hit me up. Words are hard. Sorry about that. Anyway, had somebody hit me up and said, "Hey, I got a donation request. I want to see you do." I was like, "All right, bet." So what they wanted to see was Craig Morgan, the father, my son, and the Holy Ghost live at the Opry. So. Let's get in it. Hold on. See, from my understanding, Craig Morgan's a veteran. That was some of the information that the requester had given me that He's a veteran, which obviously I, re I relate to that as I'm a veteran myself, for those of you that are new to the channel. Uh, but something that I noticed, it's a little fuzzy right there. His earpiece has got an American flag on it. That's a nice little detail I like. Oh, both of them's got it. Lights are shining bright as always downtown on the road. I have friends that come from out of town asking me to go. They say there's so much going on. Why don't you come along and show us around? All right, so he's got some people coming in from out of town. You know what I'm saying? Coming to visit, and they're like, hey. Hey, come and show us around the town and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go see show what this is around. about. I tell them Karen's not feeling well, so I probably shouldn't go out. Besides, I've got to fix a list of things I need to do around the house. Then I hang up the phone, turn the radio back on, and sit back down. All right, so his, his, I'm assuming Karen, I think that's what he said. Karen is his wife, I would assume, because that would be the only reason I would tell somebody to be like, nah, let me stay at home because she's not feeling good. I need to stay at home and take care of her. And then I got stuff around the house I also need to do. But then, but then he sits down instead of, Going to handle in business. I know my boy ain't here, but he my bad. I know my boy ain't here, but he ain't gone. And in the morning I wake up, give her a kiss head to the kitchen. So it sounds now I was told, you know, I, I was given like a quick little brief about Craig Morgan and his situation, why he wrote this song and stuff like that. But, um, he wrote this song for his son that passed away, which my hat is off to you. I couldn't imagine. Like, I don't know the details of how his son passed or whatever, or at least I don't remember if I was told, but now I can kind of understand why he just went back to sit down. Cause I mean, if it'd be hard, like trying to muster up some ambition to, to do anything after you lose a child, Oof. that's tough, dude. That's real tough. Somehow 
always pull down. Yeah. But the pain of this was more than I'd ever felt before. Yeah, I was broke. I cried and cried and cried until I passed out on the floor. But then I prayed and prayed and prayed. I couldn't imagine losing a kid, dude. I've been through a lot in my life. I've been through a lot in my life. Between being the war, just normal life struggles, all of those different things. But I, I honestly 100% believe Losing one of my kids would do me in. It's unimaginable to me. Out on the floor, but then I prayed and prayed and prayed till I thought I couldn't pray anymore. Then minute by minute, day by day, my God, he gave me. His voice though so good and it's my understanding like you gotta be you gotta be worth something like worth something good to be able to go and stand on the on the stage at the grand old opry to sing so i mean i i don't know if i know a whole lot about greg morgan i know it's kind of weird to say that i don't know but i mean i mean we consume so much in, in, in life and just don't pay attention to what we're consuming and just we're we're complacent with all those things, you know? It's, so it's like doing doing these things has kind of to a certain degree kind of elevated a little bit of awareness on what I'm listening to nowadays. But this song, dude, just hits. It just hits, bro. Like, it's I was I was given the understanding. I was told in in the request that this is the this was the first time he ever sang this song publicly. Like it wasn't on an album before this. If it was ever on an album, I don't know if it was. But this was the first time anybody outside of friends and family had ever heard this song. And to my to to what I was told, he wrote this song after his son passed away. Woke up in the mid like I guess woke up in the middle of the night or whatever and wrote the song. And only ever intended for this song to be heard by friends and family. And after having played that to friends and family, they talked him over time. They talked him into doing this for the public. And I believe this was the first performance of this song ever heard in, in the public's ear. So. God, wake me up and try to rouse up some ambition. Go outside to find myself. But I. That, it takes time, man. It takes time. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. I had a girl that I was dating 
a long time ago. A long, long time ago. I wanted to marry this girl. And she got killed in a car accident one night. And I still deal with that to this day. I don't say much about her. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just deal with it inside. I've, what's the best? I don't know the best way to put it. I've moved on from it, but I've never forgotten it. And that's kind of the thing that I always usually try to tell people. It's like, you don't have to forget your past. You don't ever, like, I think it's important not to forget your past. Your past. It's absolutely important to me to remember and to not just forget, but you've got to find a point where you can move forward with your life. You really do. And I think that's where he's at in this song. And, man, but just the thought of, of it being a child is just crushing more each day in time I won't completely heal till I go yeah. in the mornings I wake up give her a kiss head to the kitchen pour a cup and wake me up and try to rouse up some ambition go outside sit by myself With the Father, my Son, and the Holy Ghost. Woo. Woo. Give me chills, boy. Give me them chills. Why they turn the light off? Absolute, absolutely unimaginable. Just, I just, I could, I, I just, I can't fathom even slightly the idea of losing my child. Like, it just, any of them. I've got three. Just any of them. For any reason, even like, Even, even just the idea of a divorce, you know what I'm saying, scares the shit out of me. Because that means I, you know, well, it doesn't mean I lose the kids. But with the way the world is nowadays, there's an extremely high probability that the kids will end up going with, with the wife. Unfortunately, in some places, that's just the way it works. But, I mean... I don't want to go in a tangent on that by any means, but it's just losing your child is your kids should never, the parents should never outlive the, the kids. It just shouldn't happen. I know it does. And it's, It's just crushing to hear that it happens. But, man. Because, I mean, we could all wake up tomorrow and, you know, God could come down and be like, hey, all three of them. That's the reality of it. But, man, that's a really great song. I really like that song a lot. And I think it was a really good idea for his friends to push him to do that song in the public. The public needs to hear that. Like, no matter how hard life gets, no matter how bad things seem, it could be worse. It could absolutely be worse.
and you can, you know, seek God. Ask him for comfort. And he'll help you. That's it for me. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the request. If you've made it this far, do me a favor. Do the channel a favor. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you got the notification bell turned on. That way you know whenever I do another video. So, y'all be good. And call a friend. And tell them that you love them. They may need it. We'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.